well, <clears throat> here's a new project. I'm going to try to fix my pumps that were leaking. And the one was a little weak. It could be just because it was leaking and getting air in there. Maybe. I don't know. So, never done anything like this. So I'm going to try to tear into it. So, I got this one all apart over here. I took apart more things than I think I needed to take apart. So, I put them back together. So, inside of here, this little contraption right here, this thing goes on top of here this this gear here goes down in here and this whole platform sits on top of here and then you got all these like spider gears and all this kind of stuff on top of there and this part goes on there so it doesn't really have a a pump say like some of the newer models do and then this this piece over here has the ball bearings in and this thing moves back and forth and that goes in here it has a little ball bearing in there and it's got two little um dude macaulays these two little things right here and uh it has a little bit of shavings on the magnet i don't know if you can see that right down in there something's been wearing here on the case a little bit right inside of there but the end play from here this thing here is is tight so i took apart that one just the top cover of the other one just to see how the end play on that one that one is really loose and that one's has a bit of wearing in the same place but not as much but all the gears and everything look to be fine but it is a 1987 model so that is not much wear in there from that many years and these seals were not tight at all because they just popped right apart so, I got this other one over here in the vise. And this one has a lot of input. I don't know if you can see that. But I took that uh, stamp ring off, and then there's a spacer washer in there to take up the end plate. So, I don't know if I just need to get a new, because the bearing seems to be fine down here on this end. So, I don't know if I just should just buy a, a bigger. Um, spacer for now and this one's got shavings in it too and this one's a war in the same place same place as the other one maybe there was something wrong with them that's why they discontinued them a year after they put them in here and they made a new model <laughs> Okay guys, so we're working on the Dixie chopper. I got everything. I got all these all sanded now. Still gotta clean them, final clean them. I got them all sanded. Look a lot better than they did. I sanded all the little gears, wet sanded them, sanded everything. I mean you got some fine little scratches in there, but that's just I mean nothing you can even feel with your fingernail anymore. It looks like uh, this this one might have got a little hot at one time because this 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 had some discoloring to it, and neither of them had any fans on it. So if it does work, we're gonna put fans on them, try to find them, or we'll just make something work. And then uh, so we're gonna do a final clean, and we're gonna start reassembling this one, and then we'll see how that goes. All right, well I got one side back together finally. It took a while. You get everything all lined up up here in the top because you got to line up the peg that goes through the peg in here that lines up and goes down there's one over here that goes down and there's a gear here and this peg has a little thing on that move left and right right and left back and forth all side to side get all them lined up got that back on got it all our tv got this side all back on all the gears and mechanisms all our tv let that dry for a while then we'll put fluid in there and then tomorrow 
I'm gonna try to try to tear the other side apart and see what that looks like. Got the other one tore apart, and this one must be the one that was working a little bit better, because this one doesn't have as many scratches on the pump side on the the planetaries. So we're gonna sand them up. We've got the case all cleaned, or not clean, clean, ready to go. But I got the gasket off it. Got some of the oil sprayed out of it. Looks like this one has been repaired before because there's a 21 BD 3 29 marked on it. Too bad it doesn't have a year. We'll start cleaning this and sanding it and putting it back together. Okay, so I'm back. I sanded all the gears. It's the next day now. I sanded all the gears for this one. I'm not going to clean them all. I gotta finish cleaning out the case. I just sanded this with sandpaper, wet sandpaper, just like Double Wide Six did. I gotta clean them all. We'll see if it works. Hopefully, it works. It did work. Maybe it'll, hopefully it'll work better than it did. So I don't know what I'm doing. <clears throat> just uh, learning it as I go, I guess. And I watched his videos, and he did it. And it worked on one of his. Gonna have a gear style pump. So, yeah, can't, can't hurt to try. That's all you gotta do is try. Okay, well, we got the transmission transaxle fangs back in the unit now. Danny's putting on a collar key down there. Hi. Hi. <laughs> and then uh, we gotta hook up some lines and the belts, and then we gotta get some. Uh, we're not going to be able to drive it today because we got to get two new uh, filters for it before we drive it. Try it out. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, all ages and sizes, I got all the air bled out of Miss Dixie here. That took a little while. So, got the air bled out, I got the fluid. It still has a little air bubbles coming, but it's driving on the stands. I don't know if it's going to drive once I take it off. So... I gotta pump this tire up because this tire always goes flat and I never want to fix it unless I knew if it was going to work so you know how that is so I put some air in there and then we're going to set the tripod up and we're going to set you guys up and we're going to take it for a little spin around the, the neighborhood
Well, Miss Dixie's working good now. I just need to figure out how to get some uh, fans for it down there because I've never had any on it. Do some research, but there we go. We took it all apart. We sanded all the gears, got them smooth again. We resealed everything and put it back together. Took a little while to get it bled out, but she's got a lot more power than I had before for the hydrostatics part or whatever. So, a lot of people said, oh, that ain't, can't do that, ain't worth that, you ain't gonna do that, ain't gonna work, don't waste your time. I don't have a lot of money, we bought some good Valvoline 1040 for this thing. And we bought two filters and some sealants and wet sandpaper. So, we got less than 50 bucks into it. We just have a lot of time. I didn't video the whole process because I didn't, I've never done it before, so just have to get bits and pieces of it so thanks for watching comment subscribing maybe this will encourage some of you guys or somebody to try to fix something yourself so hope you have a good day bye and thank you for all the subscribers we got over 2,000 now let's have a giveaway toodles